the first strategy for rethinking temptation is to think abstractly and we are going to go through exactly what this means and why it helps throughout this lecture. First though, think about what you will probably be doing 10 minutes from now. I promise this will be relevant. Just go with me on this. Take a second. What will you be doing 10 minutes from now? And really, kind of thinking about what that will be. Okay, and think about what kinds of things are coming to mind or what are you thinking about? What are you picturing? How are you seeing this in your mind? Okay, great. Hang on to that image. Now think about what you will probably be doing 10 years from now. Think about what that might include, what you will be doing 10 years, all those sort of things. Now, if you are like most people, what you are imagining now is a little less specific and clear than what you were thinking about just a moment ago. Because when we think about the distant future, we kind of see a fuzzy representation of, you know, kind of generally what's going to happen. But when we think about the here and how we are something closer to the here and how we can focus more easily on concrete details or mental images richer with details, we see what's happening more clearly. We know what we are feeling. So 10 minutes from now, the image that might be was in your mind was full of details, emotions, concrete elements, and tangible components. But the image of what you will be doing 10 years from now is probably hazy, emotionless, big picture. You might even be looking at yourself from the third person perspective. So you see yourself in the image. Where is where you picturing 10 minutes from now? You probably were less likely to be thinking in that way. You probably saw it from your own perspective. This is a reliable trend across tons and tons of research. There is this fancy thing called construal level theory. In social psychology, that talks about this all the time. But in general, the idea is that things that seem close to us, we think in more concrete ways that things we see far from us and we will go into that in a second. And in general, the idea is that there are two main ways of thinking. One of those ways is to think about the tree and the other one is to think about the forest. So potentially exactly the same stuff that you could be thinking about. But one way of thinking is to focus in on the concrete details of the tree or to instead think about the bigger picture of the forest. What we are going to use in the terminology of concrete and abstract thinking. Concrete thinking is when you go in and you look at the details. You are focusing on something in particular. You are seeing the specifics, whereas abstract is the bigger picture, a general representation of what's going on. And in general, we adapt these different ways of thinking in pretty reliable ways. So when something is really close to us, we think of it more concretely. Think about it even just in the world. If I'm looking at something right in front of me, then I see all the details. I can focus in on thinking about it in a way of how can I use it? What can I do with it? What are its properties? But 
when I see something that's far away, off into the distance, I can't really see the details. I kind or just get the gist of what's going on over there. And so I think about it a more abstract way. That can happen a lot in the way that we think about things close versus far. But you can also think in time as being close or far. So in the present, like in the example that we had in the beginning, you can think really concretely. Things that are going on right now. How am I feeling? What's going on? What can I see? And what is the detail that's happening right in front of me? Whereas in the distance past or the distant future, things are fuzzier. I think more abstractly about what's going on. I'm thinking about the gist of what's going on. So when we bring this, I promise this will be relevant, where we will bring this back to temptation goals and our self-control ability. When we think concretely, it makes us cave to temptation. Whenever we are in the mindset where we are focused on details, the present, what's close to us, what's happening right now, we are rethinking more concretely. So if I'm looking at this chocolate, I'm looking at the wonderful color, I'm looking at how it's probably going to taste, I'm imagining the details of the experience of having this chocolate melt on my tongue. I can't escape the alluring nature of all the stuff that makes chocolate great. And so, if I'm thinking concretely, then I'm going to go with the temptation because it's hard for me to think concretely about my goal because it's so off in the distance. But when we think abstractly, we focus on the goal. The goal is something that's long-term. It's often into the future. It's not perfectly defined. We don't know exactly how it's going to end up. But when we look at the bigger picture, suddenly the details of this chocolate aren't relevant to us anymore. Instead, we can easily see that, oh, this chocolate is going to hurt me in the long run. This is going to be a problem for the big picture. So when we pull back in our mind and we think about our abstract goals, when we think in a more general, broad, big picture kind of way, we focus in on our goals and make choices that are better aligned with those long-term goals. So as a strategy, when met with temptation, adapt a more abstract mindset so that you can escape alluring concrete details of what makes a temptation so tempting and instead you will be more committed to your long-term goal. Now it's one thing to say, hey, just think more abstractly, let's wrap up and go home. I'm going to go ahead and show you more about how you can accomplish this in the next lecture. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook to your success, your health and wealth mentor.